What's happening, everybody? Jay Shockblast here. And check it out. What a day. Awesome news in the world of LEGO Star Wars The Force Awakens. Uh, we've got a lot of stuff mapped out for us. Uh, and all I can say is get to your store and make sure you pre order the deluxe edition uh, for $69.99 or whatever tr that translates to in whatever country you live in. For the 10 extra dollars, you are going to acquire the season pass uh, along with tons of other goodies uh, Stormtrooper Finn uh, minifigure, uh, little art book, and you are also going to get a uh, Return of the Jedi uh, pack that is not part of the season pass. So do that now because let's just say uh, they've announced everything that is going to be in the level packs and the character packs and it is quite the list and it will be worth the extra ten dollars and it'll, it'll be worth it to not have to pay the three dollars each uh, once they get released for everybody so let's go ahead and get right into it there are going to be three level packs and there are going to be five character packs now, I want to just go ahead and go over them. I've got the article in the comment section below, and it's also in the um, description. So it's on GameInformer.com, and there's five character packs and three level packs. So the level packs are Pose, Quest for Survival, uh, First Order Siege of Takodana, and the Escape from Starkiller Base. Um, I'll get into that in a sec. Uh, the character packs include a Jedi character pack, a prequel trilogy character pack, the Freemaker Adventures character pack, a Star Wars Rebels character pack, and a Clone Wars Re uh, character pack. So, when it first came out this morning, and I'll be honest, I didn't read everything. Uh, I kind of saw, hey, you know, all the level packs are based off of... Um, you know, events that basically happen during the time of the movie. And I'll be honest with you, that kind of rubbed me the wrong way because in every other LEGO game, the level packs have always been, like, separate from the story. You know, you could have interpreted them a lot different than something that was actually in the story. Um, and all three of these feel like they belong as part of the core game. But... I'm not going to complain because, quite frankly, um, you're getting an entire game's worth of content and characters out of this extra $10 uh, for these packs. Um, in TT Games, I trust, uh, they are, as far as value goes, one of the fairest companies uh, in video games by a large margin. And, um, you know, other companies probably would have charged way more for the type of content that you're getting uh, for the extra $10 in the deluxe edition. So, you know, good game. I'm I'm all for it. It's just in my head, I kind of pictured having you know, a Star Wars Rebel pack where maybe we would have a level pack where you have the Rebels. You know, even reading about this Freemaker Adventure character pack, you know, it's going to be a new show that's on uh, Disney XD. Uh, a Lego-based show, even. Uh, and I'll get into that in a second. Um, you know, having that as as a, a level pack would have been really cool. And then maybe something on the Clone Wars, you know? Like, I pictured those as level packs. But, you know, the thing is, is that we're still getting all of those characters. So, at the end of the day, what does it matter? Because you're getting 50 new characters and some new vehicles as part of these character packs. And the level packs come with extra characters, too. I, I can't... I can't really complain, okay? Alright, I can complain. Uh, Quinlan Voss is not in the game, but I'll live. So, let's go ahead and get into the content, okay? I'm going to start with the character packs first, okay? The Jedi character pack features powerful members of the Jedi Order, and they include Ayla Sakura, Kiati Mundi, Kit Fisto, this gentleman right here, uh, probably the second coolest Jedi in the Order. Um, it includes uh, Luminara Unduli, uh, Mace Windu, uh, the baddest MFR in the uh, Jedi universe, <laughs> uh, Plo Koon, uh, Sacy Tin, Shakti, uh, a Jedi Interceptor, both a full and micro figure version of the vehicle. 
So that's a great pack. You know, uh, you can't really complain there. The tr prequel trilogy character pack uh, includes characters from episodes one through three. Includes a uh, battle damaged Anakin Skywalker, Captain Kanaka, Darth Maul, Jango Fett, Jar Jar Binks, Binks, uh, Padme, Naberi, uh, Watto, Zam Wessel, and then a uh, full size and micro sized version of the Naboo Starfighter. You know Jar Jar was going to be in it. Even though George Lucas is gone, uh, his stain lives on forever. And, uh, yeah, we've got Jar Jar. Is there really anybody out there? Uh, is there really a Jar Jar Binks fan in existence? I've yet to see one. Um, but whatever. Um, the Freemaker Adventure Pack showcases the galaxy's bravest family of scavengers from the up uh, upcoming LEGO animated series. Um, playable characters and vehicles include Bosch and Iktoki, uh, Grabella the Hut, Cordy Freemaker, Ne Nari, Ram, also an Iktoki, uh, Roger, a battle droid, Rowan Freemaker, Xander Freemaker, and then a Star Scavenger, uh, both a micro and full size vehicle. Um, so, you know, there we have that. Um, and I want you to look at this character grid, guys. This is the character grid for the original game. You're probably getting way more than that in just the DLC for LEGO Star Wars The Force Awakens. So it's pretty incredible if you think about it. Uh, anyway, um, so that's the Freemaker character pack. The Star Wars Rebels character pack uh, features the crew... Uh, on Ghost. Actually, back to Freemaker. Um, that series starts on Disney XD on June 20th. Uh, so get hyped for that. Um, so, you know, on top of that, we've got the uh, Rebels character pack, which uh, obviously features characters from the Rebels now. Uh, Rebels show now. Um, uh, Ahsoka Tano, Chopper, Ezra Bridger, uh, Hera Syndulla, Kana uh, Jarrus. Sabine Wren, Seventh Sister Inquisitor, uh, Zeb Aurelius, and Ghost, full size vehicle. Um, Seventh Sister Inquisitor, so the actual Inquisitor is not in it, which is interesting. Um, next up, we have the character pack for Clone Wars Captain Rex, Commander Cody, Asajj Ventress, Oris Singh, Barris Oki, Cad Bane, Hondo Onaka, Savage Opress, uh, Republic Gunship. So. Um, and I don't know if I mentioned Ghost for the Ghost Pack, uh, or for, um, Rebels. So, you know, that's a ton of content, guys. Like, all of that alone is worth 10 extra dollars. Um, so, then we get into the level packs. So, uh, Poe's Quest for Survival, a whole new adventure following Poe Damron's journey back to the Resistance base after his daring escape from the First Order and left him stranded on Jakku. Poe must search for BB-8 and locate a ship uh, to escape the desert planet in an effort to find way home. It includes playable characters, Naka Lit, Own Ghost, Poe Damron, Jakku, Struis Clan Leader, Struis Clan Raider, Struis Clan Speeder, Micro, and Full Size. So, you know, it's adding characters that, quite frankly, I'm sure the character grid for the game itself is going to be pretty large. Um, so it's adding all those characters. Uh, the First Order Siege of Takodana is going to give you a different perspective of the assault on Maz Kanana's uh, castle. Um, you're going to storm Takodana with Kylo Ren and the First Order in a quest to capture Rey and BB-8 to crush the Resistance forever. Playable characters include uh, Joshko Fruce, Rosser Wino, Strono Cookie Tugs, Thromba, Laparo, a Jakku freighter, and a full size of Micro. I have no idea who any of those people are. Um, you know, they're famous for putting all these characters in the background, like Aura Singh. Aura Singh is a very popular character that appeared in episode one for like three seconds. So it's pretty incredible how uh, just popular she became based on that. So um, I haven't seen anything about Grievous now that I look at it. Um, so that's interesting. Um, Starkiller Base, uh, Escape from Lo Starkiller Base level pack. Uh, after crash landing on the surface of Starkiller Base, join the battle from the perspective of two Resistance pilots. 
With the help of a loyal astromech droid, outmove her from first order to escape the planet before it explodes. So, this sounds like a flight pack, which should be interesting. Um, playable characters and vehicles include uh, Sai Frenali, Colonel Datu, uh, Lieutenant Rodona, Rodinon, Lieutenant Wright, R3Z3, Assault Walker, uh, full size of Micro. So, look, guys, that's just a ton of content. If you haven't pre ordered the Deluxe Edition, um, that this is one of those cases where I would absolutely pre order the Deluxe because there is absolutely no guarantee uh, that you are going to find that. Um, and it also comes with a, a Return of the Jedi character pack, uh, which at this point we don't even know like who's in that. I'm assuming Boba Fett, because even though I have him right here, uh, there is nothing about Boba Fett being in any of that. So, um, you know, hopefully we have Boba Fett in the Return of the Jedi pack. Um, um, hopefully there are no Ewoks. If there are Ewoks, my opinion uh, may be out. Um, so, <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, you already have Jar Jar Binks. How much lower can you go? Um, but, dude, this season pass sounds phenomenal. What I love about it is we don't have to wait uh, until the pack is finally about to come out, like we did with LEGO Marvel's Avengers, um, where we, we literally had, we were speculating and speculating. And um, I'm going to go ahead and throw Quinlan Boss in there for the uh, possible uh, thank you character pack <laughs> that, you, <laughs> that TT Games has been doing <laughs> with the last two games. Uh, you know, we had one with, uh, you know, Marvel's Avengers and Lego Batman 3. I mean, of course, that doesn't necessarily mean there will be one in, uh, in, uh, you know, Force Awakens, but, you know, I mean, TT is pretty cool about that kind of stuff, so we shall see, um, but hey, man, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, what do you guys think of the season pass, uh, I hope you guys enjoyed, and, uh, psh, I'm gonna go play with some more Boba Fett, blow some stuff up, alright, we out.